Bonjour. Je suis très heureuse d'être ici aujourd'hui. Good morning, everybody. I am happy to be here today. I am a professor. I teach computer science at the State University of Haiti, where students, women students, are a minority. Today, I want to share with you about the story of making women's peer-to-peer -peer network in Haiti. It is a unique collaboration. The women's peer-to-peer The Women's Peer-to-Peer -peer Network is a global effort to connect world's women, and the first deployment is taking place in Haiti. In fact, for me, this project started one year ago when I received an email from a journalist, Rachel Levenda, who contacted me and shared with me about her vision to have women connected in a new way by using the collaborative peer-to-peer -peer approach. Rachel thought to connect Haitian women, whatever if they are illiterate, using technology that they can use. I was rapidly interested in this idea because My women students have skills, but don't have many opportunities to exercise leadership, to work on concrete projects that could connect them to the real problems in their community. I have witnessed in Haiti too many projects aiming toward economic growth that clearly wasting resources and goodwill without significant result because there is no significant local input in this project. Technology and solution are developed by foreigners who call the experts. Experts come from Mars and don't have time to listen to assisted earthlings. So the women's peer-to-peer -peer network in Haiti is an opportunity to fix the main flaws of the traditional project conducted by international organizations, NGO, or public authorities. We believe that it is important to work with the target users and consider the, those target users as partners and also as experts in their own needs. We believe that we have to develop usable technology for local women with local technical women involved in creating it. We believe that it is important to work in a partnership with a global community of women. Let me give you an example of the importance of the personal connection and also the importance of working with local people. In this project, our first step wasn't to write code to make usable technology. It was to set women students into the market to talk to the women in the market to learn about their life, about their business activities. Marguerite, one of the women students, went to Cap Haitien, located in the north of the country. Marguerite met a woman and asked her about how she used technology. For example, if she used to listen to the radio, if she has a mobile phone, if she used text messaging. But what happened in was very significant. That woman said that Marguerite is the first person, was the first person 
who never asked her about herself. Nobody on asked them about their need. Even then, billions of dollars are spent in Haiti for helping people. Another interesting thing happened. Before Marguerite left, that woman said to her, I know you. I knew you as a baby. It was a significant moment for Marguerite because Haitian society are fractured into different groups of people regarding their economic or social situation. For Marguerite, a shift took place from a woman separate from her, needed her help to being partners in rebuilding their country. And this very first step in this project allow us to co have build strong connections among groups that were totally unconnected before. We realize that this project is not just about developing technology for women. This project can have a deep impact in restoring the fabric of the Haitian society. And everything that flows from this process, in fact, scriptures, application, will be better, more usable, because of, of that common bond. Let me tell you uh, the reason why. For doing this project, we have chosen, we have selected to work with market women as our first group. Women jazz economies. 80% of Haitian women work in the informal sector, most of them owning micro businesses, selling products in the market. In the Haitian culture, women are referred to as potomita. Or in English, central pillar of our economies. But they have limited revenues. They have limited access to health, to public health, to education. They are maybe illiterate, but they don't need charity. They are entrepreneurs who need a better access to opportunities to learn, to prosper, and to contribute back in, back in, the, in their country. The paradox that we have to tackle is that those women who are the backbone of the economies have a least access to essential resources needed for their development, including usable technology. But there are also, for this project, some opportunities. One of them is our potential to quickly connect market women. For example, we have a partner, one of, one of our partners, is a microfinance micro organization called Foncose. And we can connect the 55,000 market women from Foncose. And there are also the possibility, the potential to develop ubiquitous services, meaning developed locally through a mobile network. Regarding those opportunities, we have, there are, so, there are also some challenges to face to take her. One of them is the high rate of illiteracy. And the other one is the limited access to digital um, technology. Imagine now, the situation is a woman who has to travel a long distance, sometimes 
She's working several hours to go to the market to sell her products. And she doesn't have access to have full information about her business, about her safety. She is isolated. Even if she has a mobile phone, she's maybe illiterate and can text or have get access to information, useful information. The main world, by example, could be closed. And that woman didn't, her didn't know about that. And she can lose her perishable products. Imagine now the same woman with access to voice messaging technology to give her information about her business, about her, uh, her safety, and also access to the network, the same network that she could use to prevent, to report violence, to stop epidemic, for education. We believe that this women's peer-to-peer -peer network could be a powerful multi-use tool. I told you before about collaboration between women market and students, women students in technology. Now I would like to take, a, to, to, to take another example of collaboration. And during the last Grace Hopper uh, celebration, Women in Computing, there, is, there, there was a, a contest Conde, sorry, con, Conaton Day. <laughs> it is a day where women in technology can work together on humanitarian projects. Wo Haitian women students this day were connected to a global community of women in technology. And they are started to build a prototype for one of program to connect market women from Francozy, the microfinance that we talked about that before. But it, what is important in this, about this global collaboration? For the student, it was the first time that they could have this global experience with technical women outside of Haiti and where she, they can contribute to bring solution for their community. We think that the women's peer-to-peer -peer network, it's a movement to connect women from many disciplines finance, technology, education, health, to connect world, world women. And we ask you to join us to connect Haitian women to the world. Thank you. <laughs>